Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 13. Figure 2 shows a sketch of part of the curve C with equation y equals x ln x, x larger than 0. The line L is the normal to C at the point P with coordinates E, E. The region R, shown shaded in figure 2, is bounded by the curve C, the line L and the x-axis, and we want to show that the exact area of R is A e squared plus B, where A and B are rational numbers to be found. So to start with, we're going to split our area R into two shapes. The area on the left is bounded by C and the x-axis. The area on the right is bounded by L and the x-axis. We're going to start by working out this right-hand side. So it's a triangle, so if we can get its height and its width, then we can find the area. We can quickly see that the height is going to be E, because that is the y-coordinate at P. But to work out its width, we're going to need to know where our red line meets the x-axis. Well, that's quite easy, that's just E, because it's coming down from P. And we need to know where L meets the x-axis on the right-hand side of our picture. To do that, we're going to need the equation of L. So to find that, we're going to find the gradient of L by first finding the gradient of C. So C is equal to Y equals X ln X. We're going to differentiate that to find the gradient. So by the product rule, we get 1 times ln X plus X times 1 over X, which is equal to ln X plus 1. So at the point P, X is equal to E. So dy by dx equals ln e plus 1, well ln e is equal to 1, so the gradient is 2. As the line L is the normal to C, it's equal to the negative reciprocal of the gradient of C, hence it's equal to minus a half. So we've now got the gradient of our line L, we've got a point that it goes through, P, with coordinates E, E. So using our straight line equation, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, we get that y minus e equals minus a half times x minus e. We want to find out where it crosses the x-axis, so setting y equal to 0, we get that minus e equals minus a half times x minus e. Multiplying both sides by negative 2, we get 2e equals x minus e, so x is equal to 3e. This is the point where the line crosses the x-axis. We've now got everything we need to work out the area. So the area of the right hand side is equal to a half times the length of the bottom, which is 3e minus e, times by the height, which is e. So we get an area of e squared. We're now going to find out the area of the left hand side so that we can add them together. So to do this, as it's the area underneath the curve c, we're going to integrate c. But firstly, we need to know our bounds. We know that the right-hand side is E, but we also need to find out where C is crossing the x-axis to get that left-hand bound. So at the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to x ln x, which has solutions of x equals 0 and 1. We want the rightmost point where C is crossing, so that must be 1. So to find the area, we're now going to integrate the curve x ln x with respect to dx between the bounds of 1 and e. We're going to integrate by parts to do this. So if we let u equal ln x, we let dv by dx equal x, then du by dx equals 1 over x, and v equals a half x squared. So by the formula, we get that the integral of x ln x is equal to uv, so half x squared times ln x, minus the integral of v du dx, so half x squared times 1 over x dx. This is going to be equal to a half x squared ln x minus the integral of a half x dx. So we get a half x squared ln x minus a quarter x squared plus c. Now we know our bounds are 1 and e, so the area is going to be our answer that we've just found. First we put the e in to get half e squared ln e minus a quarter e squared. Then we put the 1 in 
and take it away. So we've got minus a half than one plus a quarter. Then one is zero, so that disappears. Then e is just one. So this simplifies to make a half e squared minus a quarter e squared plus a quarter, which is a quarter e squared plus a quarter. So our total area of R is going to be this added to the e squared for the right hand side, giving us an answer of 5 quarters e squared plus a quarter. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.